My first time watching Schindler's List. Let's go ahead and watch this. Ooh. That transition. Come on. <laughs> We're only two minutes in. The German forces defeated the Polish army in two weeks. Name? Horowitz Salomon. Here's Salomon. Here's Salomon. Man, having this in black and white enhances enhances the film all the more. There's so much texture and patterns and overlaying. <laughs> also, this song, <laughs> it's so <laughs> iconic. It's like this tango scene we're having without them dancing. Wow! <laughs> no, I'll tell you, the blocking, the camera movement. Like this, this scene is a dance without the dancing. Huh. The way he even lifted up the money. Oh. He, he finessed that entire situation. Who is that man? That's Oscar Schindler. <laughs> he covered the... <laughs> they come into our house and tell us we don't live there anymore. Please, I only know what they tell me, and what they tell me changes from day to day. What are they gonna do about it? They will shoot you. Yeah. Oh. I'm looking for Itzhak Stern. I am. Where can we talk? There's a company you did the books for on Lipovitz Street. By law, I have to tell you, sir, I'm a Jew. I'm a German. So there we are. By law? I know nothing about enamelware. Do you? I was just the accountant. Change the machines around, whatever you do, you can make other things, couldn't you? Army contract. Once the war ends, forget it. But for now, it's great. You can make a fortune, don't you think? Oh, I can get the signatures I need. That's the easy part. Finding the money to buy the company. You mm -hmm. don't have any money. Not that kind of money. You must have contacts in the Jewish business community working here. What community? Jews can no longer own businesses. That's why this one's in receivership. Uh, I pay them back in product. Pots and pans. Pots and pans. Something they can use. Everybody's happy. They'd put up all the money. I'd do all the work. What if you don't mind my asking what you do? I'd make sure it's known the company's in business. I'd see that it had a certain panache. That's what I'm good at. Not the work. Not the work. I'm sure I don't know anybody who'll be interested in this. What? You don't recognize this? It's shoe polish. In metal containers? This is glass. It's not what I asked for. What's the difference? The client sold it to his client who sold it to the German army. Only by the time it got there, because of the freezing cold, it broke. Ooh. This is not my problem. The German army wants to find out where it came from. I I'm guess going to make sure that it's your, your problem, problem now. Oh. <laughs> now it's your problem. <laughs> Where does he keep coming from? Nice shirt. Do you know where I can find a nice shirt like that? It's illegal to buy or sell anything on the street. We're here to pray. Y'all were up in here talking. Nice things cost money. Are his friends dipping? Going to need some other things too as things come up. Deadline for entering the ghetto. Mm, we're getting close. It's 1941. <laughs> All their photos, the things. Oh! Schindler. Oh. It could be worse. How on earth could it possibly be worse? Oh. 
Maybe I could put in a good word for you in the last three periods. I'm not as bad as anyone says. Worse than everyone says, but it's a lot of money. Oh, what? No, for real. He's just ever, every, everything, always, anywhere. 200, 200 kilos of an amalgam a month to begin enjoying. And just making deals, backhand deals. It's not good enough. Not good enough. Look where you've been put. Not good enough. Money still money. No, it is not. That's why we're here. Fair would be a percentage on the company. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get out. Schindler. How do we know that you will do what you say? As I said, I would. You want a contract to be upheld by what court? I said what I do. That's our contract. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. They did it. Standard SS rate for Jewish skilled laborers is seven marks a day. This is what you pay the Reich Economic Office. The Jews themselves receive nothing. What was that about the SS? The rate? The Jewish worker's salary. You pay it directly to the SS, not to the worker. He gets nothing. What? It's like one by a German, but it's outside the ghetto. You need to convince him you have a trade, something valuable to the war effort. I hear your name goes on the list and they put you on trucks. No, 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 that's not true. I'm not going to hide like some animal. Not essential. Stand over there. Move. I teach history and literature. Very good. He's 53 years old. It's too new. Smart. Right. Staining. What is in your draw? How many times have I told That's you? That's it. Play along, man. I'm a metal polisher. <sighs> we obtained the soup board. I play the flute. But Moses is a skilled metal worker. He can make tin pots, he can make tanks. He can allow me just to represent you and speak for you. Wow. And say a word. How is your typing? Uh, all right. Please. <laughs> Shame on you, Schindler. You need a secretary to one. I don't know how. They're all so qualified. Big smile, big smile. Big smile. That caviar. Kielbasa sausage, cheeses, beluga caviar. It's more fresh fruit. The real rarities, oranges, lemons, pineapples. Yo. And dark unsweetened chocolate, up in the shape of lady fingers. Get wow. les pallons sardines. And oh, it is my distinct pleasure of Deutsche in my fabric. Manufacturers of superior enamelware crockery, crafted for military use. The most modern equipment deliver a product of unparalleled quality, enabling me to proffer with absolute confidence the attached list and available colors. Mutually wow. prosperous as He really, really set that up. I'm trying to thank you. The usual thing would be to acknowledge my gratitude. You're welcome. Get out of here. It's just, this is wife or something? You look wonderful. Mrs. Schindler, Mary. Oh, this guy. It's like so much, wait, so much has happened in the first 30 minutes. Like, I don't even know what to think of him. Take a guess how many people are on my payroll. My father, at the height of his success, had 50. I've got 350 to make money for me. And where does that get you, man? I won't soon forget the name Schindler here. I can tell you that. Everybody remembers him. He did something no one else did. He came here with nothing and built a bankrupt company into a major manufacturing of all the riches of the world. I mean, this part is a bit foreshadowing because people will remember him, but not for what he thinks. There was always something missing. In every business I tried, I can see now it wasn't me that failed. I could try to read this or I could eat my lunch while it's still hot. We're doing well. Yes. Better this month than last. Yes. <laughs> Any reason to think next month will be worse? The war could end. Yeah, because it makes me think, like, even for America, that's what brought us out of the Great Depression was World War II. It was this big economic boom. Thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity to work. You're welcome. I'm sure you're doing a great job. I work hard for you. I'm sure you do. Thanks. God bless you, sir. He saved my life. Yes, he did. Mm. God bless you. Yeah. I believe that this is where that shift is gonna start to take place. Chandler just can't sit back and watch. Don't ever do that to me again. Go. 
Did you happen what? to notice that that man had one arm? Did he? What's his use? Very useful. How? Oh, very useful. Sir! Oh. No. National priority that Jews be made to shove it snow. Come with me. No! An essential worker. Essential worker? No! <laughs> yes, Schindler. Essential worker for Oscar Schindler. Yes. Jew. Yes. I lost a day of production, Ralph. Like these are people, they're obsessed with money, war, production. I lost a worker. I expect to be compensated. File a grievance with the economic office. Leave your luggage on the platform. Clearly label it. Stern! He's on the list. He is. I'm oh, sorry, you can't have him. He's on the list. What is your name? Sir, Klaus Tauber. This gentleman thinks a mistake's been made. My plant manager is somewhere on this train. Is he on the list? Yes, sir. There's nothing I can do. What is your name? Ooh. Uh, Kunda. K U N. And what's yours? Schindler. S E H I. Ayataru. Ayataru. So if you weren't an essential worker, for those who weren't, they sent them off to concentration camps. It's on the train. Off the train. Oh, they gonna they gonna stop it? Sign here. Initial there. I somehow left my work card at home. I tried to explain them. What if I got here five minutes later? Then where would I be? Yeah. They weren't taking their luggages anywhere. Wow. Oh. Come on. These are their their history, their family, their lineage. Only to discover I was broke and sharing a room with 12 people I didn't know. <laughs> you are living behind walls. The walls I can deal with. It's the restrictions to my life I'm tired of. When's the last time we did this? When's the last time we stood around and talked? This street divides the ghetto just about in half. Right side, ghetto A. Industrial workers and so on. Of course, slavery can't under The men in the back. One of you is a very lucky girl. There is a, an opening for a job. Which of you has um, a domestic experience? Uh, on second thoughts, I don't really want someone else's maid. Helen Hughes. What? Helen <coughs> Hughes. What? I can't hear. She says the foundation was put on. She's got to take it down. The entire foundation has to be torn down. If not, there will be at least a subsidence at the southern end of the barracks. My name is Diana Reiter. I'm a graduate of civil engineering from the University of Milan. Okay. Shoot her. I'm only trying to do my job. Yeah, I'm doing mine. But the building is going to collapse. Mm -mm. Rebuild it, like she said. Why would you do that? Yeah, I was just, I know that this is the guy that plays Voldemort, but I was about to say him and Liam Neeson look just the same. The young will ask mm. with wonder about this day. They came here with nothing and they flourished. For six centuries, there has been a Jewish think about that. By this evening, those six centuries are a rumor. They never happened. I never understand that mind. How people feel threatened by another race flourishing just naturally. And so they feel the need to take identity, their history away from them, take their language away from them. And for what? <laughs> Horrific. <laughs> Demeaning, invasive. I won't go in the sewers. If you don't. Can't you? Sign it for me! That line. No, little boy! Not the hospital. Come on. But I think what they're giving them is. Is this poison? As good as that. 
Leaper. Give me a muffin. Just let me drink your inside. Women to the left! Men to the right! Men to the right! Goodness. Mila! There is not enough room for you. What are you talking about? We tried to... <coughs> oh, look oh. at the space in there. Now look at me. You are just scared. I'd rather you be here than who knows where. Not a whistleblower. Mrs. Dresner? Yes. Don't worry, I'll go quietly. I'll be no trouble. No, get under the stairs. They'll be downstairs soon. You'll be saved. Wow, they got children working. Little girl, little girl. Hello, Adam. H Hello, Danka. Come with me. I will put you in the good line. You are not a boy anymore. I'm saying a blessing for you. Wow. This is so powerful. Wow, even though the places were cleared, they didn't even, I mean, they're checking, checking. Is this Bach? I am Mozart. Mozart? Oh, somebody made the comment that that was from ban the Band of Brothers correlation when he said, is this Mozart? No, it's Bach. And he said, is it Bach? No, it's Mozart. Wow. He's just washing his face. And this is going on just all over. No. Good to see you. Hello, Oscar. Glad you could join. Please, everybody, sit down. Sit down. Uh, we started without you. Since your labor is housed on site, it's available to you at all times. Does this not bother anybody? What is that? Is that silk? Of course. There's a nice sheen about it. Thank you. I'd say I'd get you one, but the man who made it is probably dead. Nobody tells me about this. I have to find out. I have to go in. They're here. They're mine! Every day that goes by, I'm losing money. Every worker that is shot costs me money. I have to find somebody else. I have to train. It's bad business. That's what we're concerned about? Business? Business? Shana told me something else about you. That you know the meaning of the word gratitude. You want to stay where you are. Things are good. I can understand all that, you know? I, I know you. What you want is your own... Subcamp. 6,000 kilograms of electrified fences, <laughs> ceramic insulators, three cubic meters of airspace per prison. I'm telling you, you want to shoot somebody. I'd be grateful. Make sure I see my cut from the um, factory owners in this camp. The Schindler account. Wow, it's like that? Scratching my head. Makes them think we have lice. Helps make them keep their distance. <sighs> <laughs> I do not record payoffs to the main administration and economics office, the armaments slowly board. Stand, slowly. Dealings with our black market contacts listed as suppliers in the legitimate <sighs> ledger. Oh, no, it gives me a headache. It gives me a headache. I couldn't get you out of here. You're right. I look in on you, see how you're doing. Put these in your pocket. Come on. I am really trying to understand Schindler as a person. He's very complex. Part part of him cares, but what's the true motive behind that? It just seems right like right now he's really concerned about his money. What are you making? Hinges, sir. Make me a hinge. Very good. Perhaps you can help me. But you've been working since six this morning. Yet such a small pile. Of hinges. Oh, wow. No, no, no. 
Herr Kommandant. Because of the machines were being recalibrated this morning. Wow! Slowly. So the man can turn out the hinge in less than a minute. Why the long story? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Nobody knows who stole the chicken. Tell him about the chicken. Still, nobody knows. It was you. No, sir. But you know who, though. Yes. Sir, thank you. Thank you again, Herr Director. You're welcome again. It's an honor to work for such a great company. Hmm. I, I only need five minutes. He wants to speak to the Herr Director. He wants you. They say your factory is a haven. Who says that? Everyone. I've been living in Krakow and false papers since the ghetto massacre. They are older people. They are killing older people now in Brasov. I'm begging you, please bring them here. You've been misled. I ask one thing, whether or not a worker has certain skills. That's what I ask, and that's what I care. Such activities are illegal. You will not interrupt me, Miss Strasser. In Try, and I will have you arrested. People die. It's a fact of life. He wants to kill everybody? Great. What am I supposed to do about it? Send them over to Schindler. Send them all. It's a haven for rabbis and orphans and people with no skills whatsoever. I know. Are you losing money? No, I'm not losing money. That's not the point. You have to understand, Gert is under enormous pressure. He's got this whole place to run. He's got a lot of things to work. Yeah, and he kills people with, with no repercussions. In normal circumstances, he wouldn't be like this. Oh, really? If anything, under pressure brings out the true character. Crook. Schindler, are you hearing yourself? Killing. Yeah, yeah. He can't enjoy it. Somebody escaped from a work detail outside the wire. The men to the right of him. He walked down the line shooting every other man with a pistol. 25. What do you want me to do about it? Nothing, nothing. Well, man. No, like... Have Goldberg bring them over. He's so hard to understand. What's going on internally in Schindler? It's like an oxymoron. He's giving jumbo shrimp. He's giving, I want to save the Jewish people for the sake of my business. It's like he's kind of doing the right thing, but with the wrong motives, even though a better word to describe would be a paradox. It's two contrasting things. I don't know if he really feels for Jewish people and helping save them in the midst of what's going on, or is he truly concerned about his business? I think it's getting to him at this point. You don't have to report to me, Helen. You know who I am? Hey, listen, Schindler. <laughs> I'm Schindler. Go on, take it. Is that chocolate? Get extra food. That chocolate back in, like, 1942 must have been bumping. Because <laughs> in Band of Brothers, they, all they talked about was chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. He beat me because I threw out the bones from dinner. He asked me where they were for his dogs. I said to him, why are you beating me? It's because you ask why I beat you. One day he will shoot me. No, 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 no. He won't shoot you. There is no set of rules that you can live by. He won't shoot you because he enjoys you too much. He shot the woman from the steps because she meant nothing to him. I can't, I'm really, really trying to understand him. It's getting deep. Why do you drink that motor oil? Motor oil? Mo motor oil? Control is power. Is that why they fear us? A man commits a crime, he should know better. We have him killed and we feel pretty good about it. That's not power, though. Power is when we have every justification to kill. And we don't. A man stole something, he's brought him before the emperor, he throws himself down on the ground, he beg pardons him. This worthless man. That's power. Hmm. That is power. Is he subliminally planting stuff in his head? <laughs> 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 what 
do they want? I don't know, but they're in my office right now reviewing our books. Oh! Yes, Mark. Ah! Don't know how much this saddle is worth. Alright. Alright. Really? Alright. He let him. Wow. Okay. Wait. Are is, I it was is he gonna hurt that boy? He let him go. Aww. At least he can see his fam like view his family. Ugh. She was smoking on the jump. I'll tell her not to do it again. Wow. No, what Schindler said is definitely having an impact. Soap, not lie. Go ahead, go and leave. Leave, I pardon you. This is... I'm happy that he stopped killing people, but seeing him be nice, it's, it's eerie. I pardon you. You really let him go, right? 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 I knew it was too good to be true. I wish for you a happy birthday. Thank you very much. What a lovely cake. That's so awkward. A Jewish boy handed them pieces of string to tie the shoes together. They told them it was needed to make something special for you boat crews. And then they gassed them. Gas chambers. It doesn't make any sense. What sense does it make to kill your own workforce? To go to all this trouble of assembling we are very, very important for them. Yeah. We have to go to their pensions. So another semi-annual physical. You didn't see him. They're hiding. I'm telling you, they're hiding. And Danka. Beautiful day. How, I, I really don't understand how they're sitting here enjoying a meal in front, oh, like, uh, watching this happen. Do you say we get your fire hoses out here and hose down the cars? Thank you. I think the fire hoses. Where's the fire? <laughs> <laughs> This is really cruel, Oscar. They're giving them hope. Try and reach the fire end. The I don't know. I've got some 200 meter horses back in the Mali. <laughs> 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 yeah, <true. laughs> Shinra is doing what he can. He's becoming more caring or more concerned. Like, really, really concerned. Every time the train stops, you open the doors, you give them water, yeah? Yeah, vote. Yeah. Like, for real, for real. He's serious. Who are these people? What about you? I kissed a Jewish girl. <laughs> he sees a beautiful woman he doesn't think. It's a matter of money? Hmm? You're offering me a bribe? A bribe, no. No, please. Sit down. Wow. We give you a smooth transition. Marks that you had to get a real taste for Jewish skirt. There's no future in it. They don't have a future. Oh. When I first saw that, I thought it was snow falling. The party's over, Oscar. They're closing us down, sending everybody to Auschwitz. <gasps> I know the destination. These are the evacuation orders. Organize the shipments, put myself on the last train. That's not what I was going to say. Nothing bad is going to happen to you there. You'll receive special treatment. Of course, you'll have to hire new workers. Poles, I guess, they cost a little more, but... You ran my business. I've done what I came here for. I've got more money than any man can spend in a lifetime. This is all going to end, you know. I was going to say we'll have a drink then. I think I better have it now. Uh, 
I don't understand. I mean, oh, where's the money on this? Where's the scam? It's good business. Yeah, it's good business in your opinion. I know them. I'm familiar with them. Well, I don't have to train them. It's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're probably scamming me somehow. Yeah, all right. Don't tell me. All you have to do is tell me what it's worth to you. No, no, no. What's one worth to you? Uh, wow. Uh, Steger, Steger. He has that memorized their names. Fisher, Ishmael Fisher. Wow. Because I really believe it, for, for Schindler, it started off as an economical gain. It's starting the whole factory thing, but with the, the escalations of the war and then further displacement and execution of Jews, it, it got to him personally. And he's using his, his status to his benefit in order to save them. 600. 600. More. More. See, I told you. Schindler. At this point, it's not about money. I could relocate them in something like safety in Moravia. I've done all I can. I hold the drinks. Count them. How many? That's it. You can finish that page. Wow. Wow! That just hit me. The very thing he's been talking about, bragging about, getting all this money, that very money you're using. <sighs> There's a, a clerical error here. There's one more name I want to put there. Oh! Oh! Helen! No. No. One hand of 21. No. If you win, I pay 7,400 right marks. Wow. So it's just going to Auschwitz number two anyway. What difference does it it's make? It's not going to Auschwitz. I'd never do that to her. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, grow old with her. Are you mad? That's what I'd like to do. The next most merciful thing. I should take her into the woods and shoot her penis. What is it you said for him? 14,800. <laughs> Man was listening. Dresden. Oh, the family, they're all together and alive. Yes, they made it. Yes! Horowitz, Dolik. Yes, yes. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Man, and I gotta say, this score by John Williams, normally you can tell, you know, he has certain isms within his music, but this is a completely fresh emotionally riveting score that really gets pulling on those heartstrings. Oh, oh, Schindler's hometown. Ah. You'll be pleased with the level of efficiency I get from these workers. Excuse me. They would have rather been somewhere else. Oh, he said, excuse me, I don't, don't have time for this. I know you've had a long journey. A hot soup and bread is waiting for you. Welcome to Brindlitz. Wow. I'm just so amazed by Schindler's story. I know I've heard it in school before, but to see it is, is mind blowing. Like, are there any personal accounts that he has of what was going through his mind, what he felt, what caused the transition? Auschwitz. Auschwitz. We have to stop here. Oh. They're in Auschwitz. The train was never routed here. A paperwork mistake. <sighs> you thought it was gonna be a gas chamber. <sighs> Sir. Good morning. A mistake has been made. We are not supposed to be here. We are Schindler Jews. Who is Oskar Schindler? You are not the only industrialist who needs labor. The train came in through the archway, and the officer in charge of the selection went immediately to work. 2,000 of them straight away to special treatment. It is not my task to interfere with the processes that take place down here. I'm not making any judgment about you. So we're all going to need portable web. I could have you arrested. And protected by powerful friends. All I say is I'm not comfortable with them on the table. The train comes, we turn it around. Mm, yes, yes. It's no! What are you doing? These are mine. These are my workers. Their fingers polish the insides of shell metal casings. Back on the train! Back on the train! Whew. Wow. This is powerful imagery. I mean, 
Schindler, he's so tall. I mean, you can see him sticking out amongst them. Oh, wow. Wow. He's amongst them. He's, mm, even by just walking with them, he like he's like identifying with them. It is unlawful to kill a worker without just cause. I am entitled to file damage claims for such deaths. You go to prison, I get paid. There will be no interference of any kind. Accountant, it's accurate. You must like be it. Mr. Schindler. It's a pleasure to meet you. I know. We need to talk when you have a moment. This is my wife, Steph. I don't keep any secrets from my spouse. Oscar, please, attend to business. It's much more attractive. We've received an angry complaints yeah. from the armaments board. The artillery shells, all of them have failed quality control tests. That's to be expected. Oh. They're withholding payment. Sure, so would I, so would you. There's a rumor you've been going around miscalibrating the machines. They could shut us down, send us back to Auschwitz. Madame. Stan, if this factory ever produces a shell that can actually be fired, I'd be very unhappy. Interesting. Also, yo, I never realized how tall Liam Neeson is. L Liam Neeson is. He's like six, seven, six, seven. <gasps> This is like the opening of the movie. It was fully operational. Non production during the same period. He's been lazy. What's going on, Stern? The German war is therefore at an end. I think it's time the guards came into the factory. The unconditional surrender of Germany has just been announced. The war is over. Victims are being mourned throughout the world. We've survived. I'm a member of the Nazi party. I'm a profiteer of slave labor, a criminal. I was about just about to ask that. And I hope you'll forgive me. I have to flee. I know you have received orders from our commandant to dispose of the population of this camp. Now would be the time to do it. Here they are. They're all here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Or you could leave. Yeah. Just leave, please. Please. Ah, uh, that's one thing about Schindler. He definitely had a... Just a convincing way with words where he really just got what he wanted. In memory of the countless victims among your people, I ask us to observe three minutes of silence. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Wow. This even goes back to the first time that we met. We met Schindler, how he was laying out his clothes all nicely. Now he's like quickly packing everything away. It's just very deep contrast. We've written a letter trying to explain things in case you were captured. Every worker has signed it. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm. Saves one life, saves the world entire. Homeboy. <laughs> Schindler. Shindy Shin. <laughs> He's dropping the thigh. Yes. I could have got more up. Got more. <sighs> you have no idea. <laughs> if I just. Ah. Would have given me one, one more. I could have got one more person, and I didn't. You have been liberated. By the Soviet army! Where should we go? Don't go east, that's for sure. Isn't that a town over there? <gasps> Failed that his marriage in several businesses after the war. He was declared a righteous person by the council. Wow. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh wow oh Oh, 
it's a Schindler. <sighs> oh my gosh. Out of all of Spielberg's movies, this has to be the greatest movie that he's ever directed. I first learned of Oscar Schindler in school and the story is incredible and it, it's mind-blowing and um, to see it, his story depicted through film was just a wonderful roller coaster to see. I don't know, it just felt like a really perfect time to watch this movie coming off of Band of Brothers and just uh, seeing the effects of World War II a little bit before and while it was going on, but from more so of the German and Jewish point of view. That just makes it all the more heart-wrenching. I just think even having this in black and white, it added just so much depth and layers to each and every scene. And I mentioned this before, the way John Williams, John Williams composed this, like first off when, when I was watching this, I didn't even know that it was him composing this music because this film, the way, the score, it's different from anything that he's ever made before. Schindler as a person in the beginning was so hard. Um, to just understand him. I mean, he came here, joined the Nazi party to make money. I know he was speaking to his wife saying that, you know, I've tried to make money before in other ways. I couldn't, I couldn't. But when, when I came here, I was able to, you know, be successful. And he's like, I don't know why. Just seeing how he was like this money hungry businessman. All he really cared about was making money for himself and the fact that he he just gave away all his money with without without question i would say at first it, it appears as if it started off saving the jewish people because he wanted to uh have a good business but then as he saw what was going on and as he began to just spend more time with um some of the jewish people and he saw what was happening to them he developed and grew a heart and a love for for them and, and he wanted to save them. I mean, by the end of it, you can see how, how he really feels in his heart. He, he wished he could have done more just to see compassion on both sides for a Schindler displaying compassion and then also uh, the Jewish people demonstrating forgiveness and um, just, just how much power, love and unity can have um, when it goes even both ways. Mercy, grace and mercy really. Um, but yeah, I think Schindler's List, from the cinematography to just, I think music also played a huge part of this film. It carried the movie, a lot of it. One of our first scenes that we saw was with uh, Schindler coming into that party, kind of becoming more acquainted with some of the Nazi officials. Um, that, that tango scene, that poor Una Cabeza song uh, was playing, and I think music really drove the narrative forward over the course of the six years, and I really think that um, Schindler's List walked us through the different periods of those six years of what was going on. Man, and that last scene, oof, Spielberg, you, you use color, color effectively, effectively. Because seeing that little girl in that red coat and then seeing her body being carried out in that red coat and then the final, final shot when it went from black and white to in color to showing the actual Schindler's Jews, like, oof took took my breath away powerful this film had a lot of powerful imagery but i think for sure this is one of spielberg's best man and i really i just really want to know did did uh schindler get the opportunity to write like a memoir of or like are there any notes of what was going through his head or just his his personal account of his own story i wonder thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on instagram go ahead and tap that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos and if you'd like to see more content click on one of these over here until next time guys